you'd be more comfortable in another place. I mean, you know, maybe this just isn't the place for you. We're back at the El Greco Diner in Sheepshead Bay, Brook, with our hidden cameras and our outlet waiter. Some people get upset when you bring your lifestyle into the situation. Lesbians tell us that harassment can be more extreme depending on where, especially if it's more masculine. I just wanted to know. I don't shirts all the time. So we decide to raise eggs with a wardrobe change. One mom complete in a tie-end jacket. Sweetheart. Congratulations. Oh, sit down, sit down, sit down. So wait, I am the fur is comfortable, but the necktie cannot be comfortable. The wire is like a man. Are you kidding me? What are you talking about? Can, can I just ask you one question? This one? Have you ever even tried a man? Diner finds questions downright hilarious. Are you kidding me? I mean, I'm trying to pay your wife a compliment. I'd be, I'd be willing to volunteer. You know what? You need to back off and get our food. We want to know what's so far that table. I'm just not comfortable. <laughs> you were laughing. From the beginning, when I heard conversation, this was really funny. How <laughs> to mother can get children. <laughs> so will the laughter continue once our actor dads reach table? As the dinner crowd moves in, Brian hopes for a friendly ear from his patrons. I thought she was your dog. <sighs> Don't love my throw up. Did you see them kiss? Oh my God. But when he meets Ethan Bello, his approach uh, backfires. Don't you think he needs a mom? I mean, look, you guys are a nice straight couple. You're a straight couple. It's just me. I'm wondering if any other people are getting upset over here. No, no, no. Just you, bro. Just you. Oh, my God. Dory and Danielle, who you'll remember, grew up with Libyan moms. Watch from our control room downstairs. I mean, I'm just worried about the kids. That's it. Don't worry about it. Nobody agrees with me? But I have to ask you to leave. What? Things are getting hot up there. We run upstairs. That guy is gonna go <laughs> 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 Hi guys. Right here, here. My name is Johnny Quinones. Okay. And this is part of a TV show okay. called oh, okay. What Would You Do? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're all actors. Hey, where were you going? I was about to punch the guy. I probably, if he would have gotten like in my face, I would have probably done it. You're still shaking up, I mean. I'm shaking up. That was, my blood is like boiling. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to quit smoking too, so like, <laughs> like, this is just like setting me over the edge a little bit. He jokes. tells us that if it had gone much further, he might have been tempted <laughs> to use this. The question's pretty wild. <laughs> Before Ethan Lee thanks him for speaking out. I remember always being extremely self-conscious because I was afraid of what people were thinking. If that were to happen, I know that I would have been very grateful for someone to to stick up for us. Some people might have agreed her, but the race to, you know, close minded like that. Over two days of shooting, nearly 100 customers witnessed Brian badgering, and less than a dozen stand up to him. But it's Ben Pincheski, a father and a husband, whom you won't soon forget. I'm sorry, sir. I'm, I'm just, I just didn't know what to do with the lesbian couple here with kids. Treat them with respect and dignity is what you should do, and you're asking extremely inappropriate, and I'm really shocked at what I'm hearing. Well, no, I'm, Particularly I'm, front of us and front of us. So I yeah. think you should stop now. I'm That's concerned. What I think. Well, don't be concerned, because it's really none of your business. If they come out in public and... You speak the rages you are. I think you really should go to the front and go get somebody else to serve them. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I agree. Would you would you be saying this if they were African American? But I mean, if it, if they were normal, right. don't say anything else. Just turn around and walk. Right, I understand, but I thought 1950s. I thought I was in Selma, Alabama, listening to you speak. Well, I'm. It's an I'm, outrage I'm, speaking this way in front of two women and their two children. Oh, it's an outrage. Can this is a mentality that's a juicy guest. When Ben calls over the manager, we step in. Oh, you guys really played me. Why were you so incensed? Because you have two lovely people sitting here trying to enjoy a meal with two children, and this man acts in a reprehensible, offensive manner. A lot of people would say that's heroic, what you it's just said. It's not did. heroic, it's the right thing. And if people behave that way, we wouldn't have all these problems that we have. I'm not looking to be anybody's hero, except for my son, so. And just so you understand, feel this strongly, my parents were survivors of the Holocaust. They were both in concentration camps. And it's because people didn't speak up that they went through what they went through. So I'll be damned if I'm gonna sit silent when I see something like that happen. Not, not to me.
next. The ugly dresses are bad enough, but making maids do this? I need everybody to step on the scale because I have to take your weight. I know you call me a bridezilla, Nikki, but I'm not. <laughs> Says who? When we come back. Mission, the luscious, most glamorous lashes. Go Colossal. Col Volume Express Mascara from Maybelline New York. Our exclusive collagen formula and colossal brush create nine times more gorgeous volume in just one coat. Beware of imitator. For our 